Uh, what's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go over a day one Druid build that is thoroughbred tested, guys. We have put this thing together and it's been really, really, really strong and powerful and we lucked out with a few legendary. So I'm gonna go over everything just to show you guys the build and then we have a world event up here to do. So let's not knock this out really, really quick. So of course we have Storm Strike guys up to Fear Storm Strike for the 50% chance to make them invulnerable. Storm Strike is very, very amazing and strong. Uh, we also have the chance to immobilize them, which is going to be huge for landslide. Okay, this is going to be a landslide build. So one point into each of those. And then we come down and have five points in landslide into enhanced with primal landslide. So when we immobilize or stun an enemy, we get a Terra emote, which is going to pop up here, which gives us a guaranteed crit for 40% damage. Okay, which is huge. All right, so five points in there. Then we come down and we have bulwark, which is probably one of the best skills that you can. Gives us a shield, really nice shield. Uh, and then we're going to get some more stacks there, but we have Enhanced to give us Unstoppable for crowd control effects. And then we have Preserving, which is going to give us Fortify. Now, the reason we have that is because we have a Legendary item, which uh, while we have Fortify, all of our Earth skills gain three ranks, okay? If we did not have that, we would only have the one point here. We would not have Enhanced or uh, pre Preserve, and we would put the other two points in Predatory Instinct for the crit chance, okay? Then, of course, we have uh, Cyclone Armor, which is going to be great. Not only does it push enemies back, but it's going to give us some damage reduction. Then we come down with the bread and butter of the build, guys, is going to be Poison Creeper, which is the vines, into Enhanced, and then Ferocious Poison Creeper, Creeper, which increases the poison duration by three seconds. This gives us a giant AoE, which is going to not only immobilize, but it's going to poison our enemies, which gives us a guaranteed crit with Landslide when we immobilize somebody. Then we lucked out with having a point from our items for trample, which is why we have that. Otherwise, we'd have one less skill here. But the main thing that we're doing for this build, guys, is neurotoxin to keep enemies slowed while they're poisoned. And then in venom. In venom, poison enemies take 30% critical strike damage. This is crucial. Now, you guys could fact check me if you want, but down in the comments. But the way that this reads is the enemy takes 30% additional critical strike damage. So what that would mean is, is that's from me, my teammates, my companions, whoever it is, which will be excellent for the Ashava fight tomorrow because you're going to poison her with vines. You're going to, and then all 12 people are going to have 30% additional critical strike damage, which is huge. Now the also, th the other great thing that makes this, uh, these nodes very, very strong is because well, we get 30% when they're poisoned, and we poison them from vines, but we also immobilize them from vines, which gives us a crit, a guaranteed crit. So now we crit for 70% critical strike damage when a Terra emote is used. So this build is absolutely insane, guys. We're going to go over here. This world event is ended, but that's okay. We're going to um, we're gonna try to make it pop back up. And, uh, and then we're going to just showcase the build just on some enemies real quick for you. All right, so we're going to showcase this build, guys, in this event for Rite of Ascension. So let's do it. See how the build does so much damage. You drop vines, and then you just hit him with a landslide, and look how fast he's just taking a crap ton of damage. This build is very, very good. The only negative to this build is I wish that it was... that it would do more area damage. We absolutely decimate this guy. Look how fast his his bar is dropping. And we should be able to get our vines up one more time just to absolutely crush him. If he didn't have this protection, he would just be dead. Oh, come on. There's one more. Come on. Let me stand up. God dang. Ooh. We got 40. Am I? I'm the only one doing this, huh? We got to save our vines for this last haul here. No. Voice meter. Bad voice meter. How was he alive after that, bro? Oh, that's stupid. I was going to say, they let him get away with that? Yeah, that's right. We got the mastery. Build absolutely flexes. Look at that. 
No problem at all. The build is super, super strong. Super, super strong. All right, let's TP back. And we're going to go over the legendary items that we have for the build, guys, real quick. Because we lucked out and got some very, very powerful stuff. So, inside of our gear here, we really lucked out. Ooh, nice. Another, uh, another good item here. Okay, so we lucked out with three legendaries. These are the only three legendaries, legendaries that we have found during the beta. We played for about six hours. So we got a helmet, which gives us a barrier. While we have one, we have 9% chance to ignore damage. This is kind of nothing to the build. It's just showcasing it for you guys. But this is the other good one. So damage from Earth skills, which would be our bulwark and our landslide. Slow enemies, which is very good for five seconds. And then we have this one. When you have Fortify, your Earth skills gain three ranks, which is a huge amount of damage. So we have Fortify from uh, Bulwark, and then we just landslide that has 8.8 instead of five ranks, which is just huge. So that's the build, guys. Let me know if you guys are playing Druid. It looks like my uh, community is going to force me to play Druid. So we are testing this, and I really think this is a very, very strong build for a Shava tomorrow with the poison damage and the increased critical strike damage for everybody against her. So let me know what you guys think about the build down in the comments. Make sure to like the video. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.